Hi, family. Welcome back. So, we've got more words and another teaching. And I tell you what, I can't keep up with it. <laughs> um, again, forgive any background noise. I, I try so hard to time this right, but this is just not a quiet house when you have so many fur babies running around. Okay, I hope he's done. <laughs> Oh, uh, so if you went and you watched Brian Melvin's account of hell, then you learned that the pit is like a spiral staircase. And each person has their own little personal hell and their own cube is how he described it. And after they're punished on one level for so long, they move down, and in each level that they move downward towards, it gets worse. The, the punishments get worse as they travel down the pit. So, I'm saying that because the mysterious spiral that the Lord shared in the last video represents the pit, It, but it, you know, of course has multiple applications for God's fingerprint. So, of course, God's going to have his fingerprint in all of his creation, including hell, right? So, family, I just wanted to bring that to your attention, how that in itself is a huge confirmation. <laughs> Mysterious spiral formation appears among stars above Hawaii. You can't make it up. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the little short confirmations. Um, short little confirmation messages the Lord sent me in my notifications. Public notice with a red bullhorn. <laughs> And 406 is plowman and husbandman. So, more on the harvest and the bridegroom. And then, be ready. And better homes and gardens. And that's just symbolism for fruit, <laughs> fruit of the Spirit. And um, making your, your conversion full of light. Cutting the, the tether to the pit makes you, you know, your house better, right? <laughs> it makes your house fully converted spiritually. So, that is the 912 from right to left is servant of Yah. And 219 from left to right, the crowing of a rooster Watch you therefore, for you know not when the master of the house cometh, at even, or at midnight, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning. So, be watching. Fully awake. Eyes made single. <laughs> Another thing, family. The number 222. For the flame of God. Okay, his light. His glory, the latter rain, the baptism of the Holy Spirit, everything he's doing um, showed up with the word rescue. And then repent, walk in the Holy Spirit. And when you're fully converted, you're fully walking in the Holy Spirit. And that is freedom, right? You're, you're free. The curse is broken. And then under that was the rapture. So, the countdown is on, family. Family, at 2.02 p.m. today, I heard squawking outside my window. And I was in the middle of decoding the Lord's message. So, it took me a minute before I got up to the window. And I seen four birds today. Two really, really red ones, and two of the red and 
I guess it's like a little brown color or grayish brown mix. So what it is, I figured out, is those are two females and two males. So the the females aren't fully red. Their heads are red and their tails are red and they've got like a little bit of shade of red in, in their body area but mostly just their head and their tail and then um, I seen another little red one so it's like five but I couldn't get a shot of five of them but I did manage to capture pictures of four of them um, and the first one captured at 203 but like I said I was busy it took me a minute to jump up get to the window get my phone get the pictures so I knew to look up the number when I heard it though which was at 202 p.m. and the definition is a hearer a listener and like you know in scripture the people who have ears to hear and seers seers right seers and hearers and Casey is a hearer and she's being used as a Lord scribe so this is my confirmation for her okay and um, I'll show you where I first started taking the picture it's hard to see but there's uh, one of the little females right here on that uh, cement concrete bench so that it kind of kind of blends and my camera is not that great, so it doesn't show the colors as brightly as I would like. But you can see uh, February 2nd at 2.03 p.m. And there's one. And there's little red one. And here you can see some of the red tint like I'm talking about. <laughs> um... You couldn't see it, you know, in some of the shots, but that one actually caught it pretty good. So, yeah, there were four of them. I managed to get two of the, um, I think, yeah, you can see the red a little bit in this one. I managed to get two in this shot, one of the female, one of the male. And then... Sorry, family. This one, I managed to get two red ones. That end, and then down here at the bottom. And one shot. Okay. I mean, they're just so gorgeous. I wish my camera would do them justice, but it's not very good. Plus, I'm, I'm shooting through the glass. If I were to try to open the window, it would probably spook them, so... Um, you know, using what I have to work with. So, family, this one actually came in last night. It was just four little messages. Uh, number four for the door, the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, new, shared, and uh, there's a little emoji of a document. So, this is the Lord's way of telling me, incoming teaching from Casey <laughs> okay um, new shared teaching okay I know it's kind of hard to see but yeah there's like a little document piece of paper there saddle up for wild action and mystery and never alone and the definitions to come with my own hand fire from the high priest the Holy Spirit fire that we've been talking about and I shared from um, Vicki last night that word where is your fire church and we'll talk more about that at the end um, but for those of us who are fully converted this this fire is a coming <laughs> and this is confirmation on that too so I had to share that with you guys and also, this was today with the 111 and 123321 twice. Okay. So, 
a closer look, Biden and Putin and the real wave. And we know the event that's coming to New York, fire and water family. And wave is also a representation for, for worldwide judgment, symbolism. And then I hope you're prepping, meaning preparing for the wedding. Okay. I hope you're preparing for the wedding. For it to be the the pure bride, right? And then a time for judgment. Yep. Three, two, one. Countdown. Okay, family, I'm going to show it to you both ways. Lifter, shaper, hot trainer. <laughs> The glory, right? Last call is here. Let's go. The chase ending in air. With love. Okay. And 997 from right to left is to come to help. Okay. And the last call is also 718 for the area code from Brook for Brooklyn from right to left. And 1154, when I seen this, is the number for Damascus. And Damascus is where Paul received his sight, his restored sight, full conversion, Holy Spirit baptism. Okay, family, here's the definitions. A letter, a letter to feed and pasture, to feed and to pasture, to join in marriage, perfect and royal at this moment, to rise up, go up, and ascend, men and women. Beautiful message, family, truly. The Lord is feeding and pasturing, and it's confirming Casey, and we confirm each other uh, even more so. So, the Brooklyn, Damascus, all kinds of things are going on here. So, be encouraged. This is a pretty message, family. Okay, family, let's get into the Lord's teaching. Power of the Sword. 2-1-2023, p.m. is the beginning. I bring my children, my bride, to the book of Leviticus, so that you may gain a deeper understanding of the Father. I pray each of you have read all of Leviticus 26, yeah, that was a homework assignment from the last message. <laughs> and I now will call your attention to specific scriptures. Leviticus 26, 7. And you shall chase your enemies, and they shall fall before you by the sword. And they shall fall before you by the sword. I seek that each of you understand that once you are fully restored and sanctified, you have the sword, your weapon to overcome spiritual wickedness. Sword is Hebrew 2719, a cutting instrument, a fork of flame. Children, scripture proves your adversary, that serpent used his tongue to speak deceit and that led to the fall and the curse the indwelling of good and evil sword is also greek 4501 a saber long weapon and revelation 1915 and out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword that with it, that with it, 
he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. You understand that I wield a sharp sword. Another paradox. The sword, our tongues, must be utilized skillfully in righteousness. <laughs> in righteousness. <laughs> Key words there, family. <laughs> Leviticus 26, 12. And I will walk among you and will be your God and you shall be my people. Is a promise of Father. Understand that houses are united in your eternal futures. Remember this scripture speaks to the temperance and wrath of Father. I show you this to highlight that you are spared such wrath. Leviticus 26:22. I will also send wild beasts among you, which shall rob you of your children and destroy your cattle and make you few in number, and your highways shall be desolate. As you read Leviticus, you will recognize prophetic words, much of it in the book of Revelation. Because you are restored with both eyes up, you can read this book with spiritual eyes and learn what is to come. As you continue to read, you learn that the Father warns his people of consequence of walking contrary to his will. Leviticus 26.39 And they that are left of you shall pine away in their iniquity in your enemies' lands, and also in the iniquities of their fathers shall they pine away with them. Now I would like to draw attention to the phrase pine away. Hebrew 4743 Consume away. Be corrupt. Look familiar? Question mark. Leviticus 26, 40 through 42. Family, she caught this at 911. <laughs> if they shall confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers, with their trespass, which that which they trespassed against me, and that also they have walked contrary unto me, and that I also have walked contrary unto them, and have brought them into the land of their enemies, if then their uncircumcised hearts be humbled, and they then accept of the punishment of their iniquity, then will I remember my covenant with Jacob and also my covenant with Isaac and also my covenant with Abraham will I remember and I will remember the land. Children, all that I show you is foretold. The Father changeth not. The truth was then, and the truth is now. I am truth. Remember, I taught you these things. The maps of Jacob's travels. I bring you to this scripture to nail down the truth. Pin it in your hearts. The Father keeps covenants. It is the order of things. Our God is the God of order.
Leviticus 26, 45, last page, family. But I will for their sakes remember the covenant of their ancestors, whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt in the sight of the heathen, that I might be their God. I am the Lord. Children, scoffers and scholars will dismiss the whole context of this verse. I will ask you, are you grafted in? My children, I will take you deeper on the knowledge of stewardship. To do that, I ask you all to study Luke 12, 42 through 59. So it's another homework assignment, family, to learn about stewardship. And I told you, um, the Lord downloaded that yesterday to Casey and she sent it to us that he's going to teach us on this. Um, once we're fully converted, the Lord posts up and he takes over and... I'm excited to learn about it. So, okay. I will lead you to 1 Corinthians 4, 1 through 2. Let a man so account of us as of the ministers of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. Haha. <laughs> That's a cool new thing to learn in it, family. My loves, my bride, this scripture speaks to where each of you who are fully restored, where each of you are at this moment. It is time now for each of you to be mindful of where you stand on the rock. Isaiah 49.2 And he has made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand hath he hid me and made me a polished shaft. In his quiver has he hid me. Isaiah 49.2 will give you understanding of your calling. Each of you will be tested and continually tried to perfect your standing. I am with you. This is a most glorious time and I cherish my time with each of you. Continue to walk and always talk to me. Remember to pray for your brethren that they learn truth. I am truth, your Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, ending at 9.03 p.m. Family, I hope you screenshotted the teaching and screenshot this one as well. Now, this was a separate study that the Lord had Casey do on her own back in December. But he did ask her to share it so that all of us can do it too. Um, be not unprofitable. It's a study about crowns, okay? And I highlighted the scriptures and... Um, cast out into outer darkness as thou hast believe, believed weeping and gnashing of teeth um, trust yourselves or you shall trust yourselves and see search blind of darkened eyesight blindness to trust Jesus as able Wide open eyes be banished away, crushed, pulverized, thresh. Now search crowns. Um, crown of rejoicing, crown of righteousness, crown of life, crown of glory.
There's also a crown for love and his appearing, I believe. There's five crowns total. So, family, last night, after um, uploading the teaching, I think it was, yeah, it was like 7-11 on the clock. So, anyway, this was right in my feed. First thing I seen was these owls, two little baby owls and one little grown mama owl. And I thought that was so precious for our restored sight. So now, family, I'm going to go into something else. Um, this is not for you, the listener, specifically. Um, those of you who are eager to be here and learn. And, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry for that pause. I'm just thinking how to word this. We um, we need to be praying for Casey family. She's being attacked a lot. And our channel's being attacked a lot. So, she really needs to be lifted up in prayer. Casey's job isn't just on this channel. Um, the Lord sends her all over the place. <laughs> And has her post comments. And she otherwise doesn't post comments. She does what the Lord tells her to do. And he puts her on missions that are usually not well received. If you know what I mean. Most of the time they're warning message. They're warning messages. Sorry. And people are being wise in their own eyes and, and stiff-necked and uh, she just needs to be kept in your prayers and and I do too it brings attacks and it, it brings a lot of false accusations and things like that family y'all know the drill and you know the Lord had had us post this word for these these stiff-necked, unconverted people who aren't heeding his words. And family, you need to understand, Jonathan Cleck has been teaching on restored sight for 20 years. 20 years. And he still hasn't gained the knowledge that the Lord has shared on this channel. I could not teach these things. I had no knowledge of these things. I specifically said that. I understood that I had my sight, but I didn't know what exactly it meant fully, like, or how to, how to define it. Casey didn't either. There's no way Casey could teach the things that's being taught here. These are the Lord's teachings. These are the Lord's words. This is a last chance for people. There are those who believe they're in the bride group that are watching for the Lord, and the Lord is saying, hey, no, you're not fully converted yet. You're not on the rock yet. But I'm giving you a chance, this last final chance, this last final call to come and learn what it means to be restored, fully converted on the rock, breaking the curse. You have to understand the curse to know that it needs to be broken. He's, took, he's taken us into so much great detail. I'm blown away by it every day. Um, it's, it's such a blessing. And, you know, this knowledge is... His pearls of wisdom. This is he's given us gold here, right? And it's hard work. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, he keeps us busy. But I mean I'm in awe every day. And he means what he says. People get one warning. And then he he gave this word, this harsh word. I've already posted it. I'm not gonna read it out, but it was a necessary word. 
And y'all know the Lord chastises those that he loves. If you're not being chastised, something's wrong, right? But this, you know, is complete and total rejection of the Lord himself. When people go against what's going on here. You're rejecting the Lord. You're not rejecting me. You're not rejecting Casey. And I know, that, like I said, guys, this isn't for you specifically. Family, how many other channels have I shared of what the Lord is speaking to confirm the things he's doing? This new word from Mandy had some confirmations in it for this channel. I shared this one. Fruit tree that yields fruit. I am the Lord, no part dark. The Lord can't be unequally yoked. If you're not fully converted, you cannot be the bride. Light can have no part with darkness. Wheat and tares. Wake up. Restore your sight. Countdown. Warnings are final. Listen to my prophets. Chosen to uncover secrets of my plans from the beginning. And that's just the short version. You know, I, I can't share all of them. Uh, I would, I'm just reposting a few of them. If you aren't for me, you're against me from this sister. And it had the 212 on it for Manhattan and Ezekiel's will. If you're not for me, you're against me. Many are deceived. Why won't you come to me? A house divided cannot stand. If you're not fully converted, your house divided. Because you're still under the curse. You haven't cut the eye to the pit. The left eye. Everything the Lord's been teaching. If Johns and Cleck couldn't go into all this detail in 20 years, that should be everybody's first clue. 20 years. 20 years. And if you can't see the difference, then you need your restored sight. The dangers of speaking against God's anointed. Vicki Parnell. Lots of confirmations in that video. Rachel we weeps in the darkness. This was for Team Jesus and to confirm what the Lord's doing on this channel. And by the way, family, Rachel is the church. Leah is Israel. Everybody teaches that wrong. The first will be last. The last will be first. Rachel was last. She's going to be first this time. That's the church. This was the one I shared last night. Everything the Lord's teaching here was in this word. Where's the fire, church? I'm coming for a bride spotless, without blemish, fully converted. And when I went back to it to get this picture for y'all, the 321 was on there. Three, two, one, the countdown also connected to restored sight from the teaching we just had from that. All of it connects. Wake up, old sleeper. Same, same thing going on on this channel was in this message. Okay? Warning for those who speak against God's anointed. This is full-blown. For, for what's going on on every channel who is speaking for the Lord. Not just here, but I'm saying I pull these confirmations out of these videos. I know it's confirming what the Lord is saying. These are the Lord's words. These are the Lord's teachings. And he is proving it out through multiple channels. But many don't have ears to hear. Warning for those who speak against God's anointed. If you're one that has... Come on here, and you're, you're one that I'm talking to. I ask you, please, go back through all the videos of Restored Sight and go listen to all these words from all these channels saying the same thing. And if you still can't hear, please seek the Lord because time is running out.
Here's another one. Children of God, listen up. This is for you. Idolatry. And if your eye causes you to sin, kind of cut it out. Restored sight. Your cursed eye. Bride without stain or spot. Same thing. The bride, the bridegroom, the full conversion, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. You know, the Lord spoke in parables so the Pharisees couldn't hear him. Those that didn't have ears to hear wouldn't understand what he was saying. It's the same principle with his servants when they're speaking for him. And, you know, it's really evident and clear that people aren't understanding. So then that tells you right there they're not fully converted. They don't have eyes to see. What's happening is a mercy, it's a kindness, it's a blessing. Take heed. The warnings have come out. And we're about to go to the court of heaven. And everything that comes out of the mouth is a testimony against you. People are being tested. Do you understand that? People are being tested. Everything we say, everything we do, coming against God's anointed will be a testimony against us when we reach heaven's court. So what... what What's happening here is people are hanging themselves right you see for everyone else on the rock your fire has arrived family <laughs> what a blessing that message was from Vicki for everyone who is fully converted, full of God's light, get ready, get ready, get ready for your fire. All right. Well, I love you guys. I hope this teaching blessed you and encouraged you. The bridegroom is coming. And uh, once you're on the rock, you're there for life. All right. For eternity. And part of the bride. I, got, I love you guys. God bless you. And talk soon and good night.